Right, let's get into where this all started. It started because Bayern Munich are playing in Real Madrid tonight. Well, they're playing in Madrid against Real Madrid tonight. And Thomas Tuchel had to say this on his future. It's very, very, very unlikely that I'll be staying at Bayern. And it's no secret that I loved it at Chelsea. I loved it in England and I loved it in the Premier League for sure. It was a very, very special time and I remember it well. So, look, um, did he um, openly say that he wants the Manchester United job? No, but what he did say is that he loved it at Chelsea and he loved it at England. Uh, he loved it in England and obviously... As I said this morning, when it comes to Thomas Tuchel being interested in the Man United job, if you were living on the streets and somebody said, do you want to come and live in my house? I've got a lovely warm fire and a bed. Would you say no? He's he's homeless. He's got no job. Like He's been sacked. He's been sacked because he's fell out with Bayern Munich again. Um, I don't really... In fairness to Tuchel, look, I always come at things from, a, from an even-handed way. I'll express an opinion, but I'm always going to try and be fair. Um, he is a good coach. Thomas Tuchel is a good coach. I've said it in the past. I, I actually considered him as a good replacement for Southgate for the England job. Having said that, I genuinely think a bag of cement would be a better replacement for, for Southgate in the England job. Put a bow tie on it, put a waistcoat on. I think it would do a great job. But Thomas Tuchel is a good coach. And I actually feel that at Bayern Munich, I don't really think he's lost his job at Bayern Munich because of results. Although... Not winning, a pre not winning a Bundesliga when anybody could do it is probably quite damning for him. But I think the real reason that he's lost his job at Bayern Munich is because he's fell out with the people at Bayern Munich. And I think the real reason he lost his job at Chelsea because he wasn't doing that bad at Chelsea and he got sacked very, very quickly under the Todd Bowley regime is because he fell out with people at Chelsea. And I also think he lost his job at PSG because he fell out with people at PSG. So... I will be fair to Thomas Tuchel and say it's not necessarily that he got the sack at Chelsea and Bayern Munich because he was a bad coach. I think it's more likely that he got the sack at those clubs because he fell out with the hierarchy. Having said that, some people will say, shut up, Mark, not for the first time. You're wrong. He got the sack at Bayern Munich because he couldn't win the league with the best team in the league. This is like Man City not winning the league by 15 points to Arsenal, um, which... You know, Pep wouldn't get the sack for that, I don't think. But it is embarrassing for Bayern, especially when they only won it because Dortmund bottled it last year. So, look, maybe Tuchel did get the sack from Bayern because they didn't win the league. But I think, to be fair, he probably has just fell out with their uh, ownership a little bit. Um, and that's why he's going to lose his job. But he has lost his job. Um, I think there's people rolling the carpet out for Thomas Tuchel. And he has lost his job again. Like, he's lost his last three jobs through sackings, not through being poached by anybody else. So he is a guy that's lost his job. That, that I think that is absolutely 100%. And he's also a guy that stood in a bar showing a bit of leg to Chelsea and Man United. You know, that interview he's done today, mentioning Chelsea, saying he likes England, he ain't saying Man United. I think he stood at a bar without a drink, showing a bit of leg, saying, who's going to buy me a drink? And he's flirting. He's flirting with Man United. I think he's flirting with Chelsea. He's probably flirting with anyone who will give him a job, especially in England, because the Premier League is probably where he wants to manage. So I think you have to take all those things into account when you're thinking about it. Now, if you want Thomas Tuchel as Man United manager, well done. You've formed an opinion. You've taken that leap. And that's the guy that you want. And look, we'll now move on to other news. This is what other journalists are saying. Pletty Goal, who's Germany-based, says Tuchel is tempted to get Man United back on track should Ten Hag leave the club in the summer. But there are still no concrete discussions. Taking uh, over Man United with its traditions, quality and power is the big goal of Tuchel. However, he also does not rule out a return to Chelsea because he does not see his mission there as finished yet. I would hold reservations around that one because I feel that he is keeping his options open, which is his prerogative. And I think he would take the Chelsea job if it came up. And that, to me, would be a big red flag if I was Ineos. Because I wouldn't be looking for a player that's thinking about signing for Man United and thinking to sign, thinking of signing for Chelsea. I want people, especially the manager, to be a long-term obsessive about the Man United project. Um, also, we've had David Ornstein come in this afternoon talking about um, the situation with uh, Eric Ten Hag. Sorry, not Eric Ten Hag. With uh, Thomas Tuchel as well. Um, but we've also had the Telegraph saying that Man United's biggest, uh, bigger project over immediate trophies philosophy wouldn't rule out Champions League winner Thomas Tuchel if he's willing to build something sustainable at Old Trafford. And I'll just find you what David Ornstein had to say as well. Um, 
Uh, as of today, Ineos have not had made, had made any concrete talks with any managers, says Fabrizio Romano. That's come out as well. Um, there was something about... Um, David Ornstein said, When you're looking at these candidates or potential candidates, our understanding is that Thomas Tuchel does want the Man United job if there's a vacancy. So, look, in conclusion, in summary, in let's start the discussion, it does feel that... that um, Thomas Tuchel hasn't got a job and Thomas Tuchel wants a job and there's not many big jobs available. The Barcelona job is not available to him. Otherwise, I think he'd be saying how much he likes Spanish football and he's never managed there and he'd like to manage in Spain. But he, there is no job in Spain. Um, the PSG job, he's had it. He can't put himself forward for that, even though Luis Enrique did go out last night. Maybe that job's vulnerable. The Liverpool job has been taken as well and the Bayern Munich job's up for grabs because they and him are departing. So... If you are Thomas Tuchel, I will put my hand up and say, yes, I would be flirting with Manchester United as well because it's the job that's available, that's the biggest job available this summer. The Chelsea job isn't actually available. Um, and I can't, for the life of me, see that Chelsea would go back for him anyway, considering they've got the same owner that parted way with it, ways with him in the first place. So Tuchel Man United is probably the only job he can get at the moment, isn't it? So I'm not surprised that he would like the job. Um, as I said, um, David Ornstein... Fabrizio or any other journalist saying that Thomas Tuchel would like the Man United job, to me, is, is bloody obvious. Um, it doesn't mean he's going to be the manager of Man United, though, does it? Just because he wants the job. A lot of people want things they don't necessarily get. Um, and Man United should not be going for people just because they want the job. It should be far, far, far more scrutinised than that. These new pace newspapers will have no clue what Ineos are doing. The news will just drop like it did with Barada and Ashworth, says Dan. Um, I hope so. I mean, I had a great Here's, here's something community for you. I had a great message from TR. We'll call them TR today. And they said, what we should all do as United fans is go after these journalists who've been going after Ten Hag for months and months and months and demand that they get the sack every single day and start rumours about them getting the sack every day. So it would work like this. Particular journalist works for particular newspaper and every single day we start rumours saying particular paper should sack particular journalists for this, this and this. They're incompetent, they're rubbish, they talk out their arse. Rumours are that they're going to get sacked and get replaced by this and just do it every single day for six months and just see how they feel. That's not my recommendation, by the way, but I did think it was worth bringing into the show because you know what? You're right. Some of them do and have been on this Ten Hag out bandwagon since last October last October. Imagine if we did that every single day for six months, demanding particular journalists get sacked for this reason. Oh, new story about this journalist today. Did you see this article? Absolute disgrace. He's going to get the sack. Oh, new story about this journalist today. Apparently he's going to get replaced by that journalist because he's absolutely crap at his job. Oh, this journalist has written a rubbish article again. He's so crap at his job. That's the 10th load of shit article again. Sack him now. I mean, it is it is quite a funny thing that I've never actually thought of until that the TR messaged me today. And I thought, you know what? Yeah, it's very easy to demand somebody gets the sack. And I think when it's fans, it's very different to journalists doing it every bloody single day, like a dog with a bone. And do they really know? Do they know? Are Ineos ringing them up and saying, said journalist, Ten Hogg's going to get the sack at some point, so why don't you just keep writing about it every single day? Why don't you tweet about it every single day? Are they bollocks? They're just doing it because they want it to happen. So, you know, maybe it should work the other way round. Um, Ten Hogg begs for Ten Hogg's job. Tuchel begs for Ten Hogg's job. Uh, yeah, that's basically what Tuchel is doing at the moment, no doubt about it. Is Martinez or Shaw back and ready for the next game, says Darren? Uh, I don't think so. We've got the Arsenal preview tomorrow. We'll, we'll ask around a bit, but I don't think they are. Uh, Tuchel could win his second Champions League, says Carl. Well, I'm I'm Bellingham tonight and Vinicius Junior, so I hope, I hope he gets knocked out. Uh, I do like Harry Kane, though. Uh, PM said he also lost his job at Dortmund because he fell out with the hierarchy. It's a very well known in Germany that his character is problematic, says PM. Well, I'll take your word for it on that. I don't, I, you know, I can only talk about what I know. I know he fell out with Chelsea. I know he's fallen out with Bayern and I know he fell out with PSG. I don't know. I don't remember what happened with Dortmund. Obviously, I know he was manager of Dortmund. But I, for some reason, thought he left Dortmund to take the PSG job. I can't remember. Did he, did he get sacked by Dortmund? Was it because he fell out? I mean, if he did... That's another, that's four, isn't it? 
that's four. Uh, Gold Bridge, that's the end of the clip. I'm sure you enjoyed it. In fact, I bet that's the best clip you've ever watched. So there's no reason not to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you never miss a clip again. In fact, smash a like on the video because we all know only legends like videos and you are all legends. So please smash a like on the video and uh, we will see you again on the next one. Thank you very much for watching as always.